Well, hello, everybody. My name is Robin. I am Katahdin from Mom's Homestead, and I want to welcome each and every one of you to my channel. I am making a fire starter. This can be done in an egg carton or a cupcake container. So I'm going to hand you down. I'm going to get this prepared. I just want to put some cupcake liners in this. I can't put on my egg cartons right at the moment. So just think that you can do it with either. So we're going to start out with just three for right now. And I'm going to cut some beeswax. But you want to dry out the materials prior to making these. So I have a little bit of lint. You can use lint. You can use, I'll show you over here. I'm going to slide you over. shavings, you can use pine needles, you can use pine cones. I have little ones and I have big ones. You can tell they're black because I put them in the oven to, to dry it out. So I'm going to take a little bit of lint. First I'm going to start out with my shavings. I'm going to put some shavings in each one. I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can see. I'm going to add a little bit of lint. And we're going to add some pine cones. You want to make sure your stuff is completely dry before using it. Make sure you set it out for a couple of days in the sun or put it in an oven at 200 degrees. going to add some pine cones to it. I got these little tiny ones. You can add a few leaves if you want. You want all natural materials. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this flat jar. We're going to cut up some beeswax. You can also use um, cinnamon cloves, maybe any type of dried spices or dried pine needles, popping wax, and twine. So we're also going to wrap these up. So if you want to give them as gifts or keep them in your nat, nat sack, you can do so. But I'm going to get some raffia and some twine. I thought it was completely off, but evidently it wasn't. All right, into the microwave. Got my oil. I got cedar wood. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to each of my pine cones. And I'm also going to add some other oils. I'm going to add a little bit of peppermint. Just a tiny bit. These are going to dry in. Okay, I'm going to add some onion garlic oil. my oil. Let's 
30 seconds. You can add any dry herbs that you'd like. And I'm even going to put the stems in there because it's dried out. Make sure it's down in there so it gets covered. Let me check my beeswax again. Ready. Anything dry, basically. Eggshells, you could put in there if they're completely dry. On top. Yeah. I'm going to do this one on camera. Anyways, this is going to harden up. That wax is going to go all over that. And that's going to harden. And I'll post the picture afterwards. And what I'm going to do is wrap my cupcake up with this raffia to make it like a crisscross. I'm still melting wax because it didn't have enough. I went through like a half a block of wax for three candles. But this is how they look when they're done. You got your essential oils in there. You got all natural products that will burn as soon as you put that in the fire. So this is, you just want to let this dry until for a couple hours. And when you're ready to go on the road or go in the woods or start a fire, you're going to take one of these, you're going to put these in your backpack. Make sure you keep one in your car. Make sure you keep one in your backpack, your bug out bag, whatever you need to. But this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification for my next video. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.